are learning more about the four people who were killed by the storm in Greenville County. They're all separate incidents. The Greenville County Coroner's Office says 56 year old Lorinder Palmer died yesterday morning when a tree fell on a home on Cedar Avenue in Greenville. About three hours later, 40 year old Aaron Lance was killed when a tree fell on him outside near Chestnut Ridge Road in Marietta. A third person was also killed on Cleveland Street extension in Greenville. A tree fell on a home there. 59 year old Charles Dean III was found dead inside and the coroner finally telling us a falling tree branch killed 68 year old Marino Maddox in Greenville as well. In Anderson County, the death toll continues to rise. The coroner says two more deaths from storm related incidents happened there. Main Street in Pelzer was down to one lane this morning because of the storm. The coroner's office says two cars collided head on and left one person dead. Over on Broadwell Mill Road off of Highway 29, a car was swept away by water. The two people that were killed in those incidents have not yet been identified. This rises Helene's death toll to four in Anderson County and over 20 in the state of South Carolina. Now in Spartanburg County, the coroner's office is reporting a sixth storm related death. They say 68 year old Jimmy Wall was found dead inside of his home late last night on Paris Bridge Road in Chesney. The home had high levels of carbon monoxide. They say a generator was running inside of the home, powering an appliance. The coroner's office reminds you to please do not run your generators anywhere in an enclosed area due to the danger of carbon monoxide poisoning and try and keep them dry outside as well.